hello all today we'll discuss about straddling technique in retinoscopy it's a very very important technique to determine the axis of the correcting cylinder okay so how do you do it and what are the tricks to do it we should we'll discuss today so what is straddling technique it is done to confirm the axis of the cylinder it is performed with the estimated cylinder in place means you do a retinoscopy suppose you have got plano with minus 1 at 90 okay so keep your lenses and in the place of the trial frame and then start doing the straddling technique so remove your working distance lens keep your objective retinoscopy findings in the trial frame and then start the straddling technique now you the trick is turn 45 degree off axis in both the direction and you notice the width of the patient's reflex in each of the cases so if the axis of your cylinder of your estimated cylinder is correct then you will get a equality the width of the reflex will be equal in both the cases in case of wrong axis so there will be two types of reflexes right one is thin reflex one is the thick reflex so if you get a wrong axis you will get a thin reflex in one meridian and other one you will get a thick reflex and if it there is a correct axis you get a equally thick reflex in both the meridians right so how do you do it let's give an example okay so suppose i'm scoping the right eye of the patient right so the axis is plano with minus 1 at 90 now look at the right side figure okay so what you are doing you are moving 45 degree apart from 90 degree so 90 degree is the axis of your cylinder now you are moving 45 degree apart from 90 degree so correcting cylinders axis you are moving 45 degree apart and then scope right you are getting a wide reflex as if as seen in the figure right now again you move 45 degree to the opposite side so opposite side of 90 degree if you move 45 degree apart it comes to 125 degree so you are scoping now you are getting a thin reflex in that one right so this thin reflex is the patient's pupillary reflex right so there is a problem that means your cylinder axis is not correct what you have to do you have to move move the axis of the cylinder in the trial frame in the direction of the in the direction of the thin reflex okay so wherever there is a uh, you see a thin reflex you move it that side right so i will move a little bit to 80 degree okay so any anything so move towards the thin reflex so if you are moving 10 degree towards the thin reflex and then again do a straddling technique right so now suppose your axis you have after doing the straddling first step you are getting 80 degree right now you again take 45 degree this side and also scope 45 degree other side so stop not till both the patient's reflexes are equal in its width and brightness so only if you are correct your width of the reflex will be equal in the two sides in the two times like 45 degree here and there right so this is the thing all of us know as if like skew movement all of us know so if you scope off axis there is a skew movement right so these are the techniques you should maintain while doing a straddling technique it's a very very important thing so even if you don't get a uh, like a cylinder power while scoping so always suppose you have got a plano right or else suppose a spherical power minus one dsph now you should confirm whether there is a presence or absence of any hidden oblique cylinder so you do a straddling technique means 45 degree you scope again you scope at 125 degree and then find out whether there is any hidden cylindrical power so always for finding any cylindrical error you have to confirm the axis first and then go for the cylindrical power thank you all of you, you can subscribe